When traveling through Chennai in the Tamil region, south of India, I noticed something odd. I kept seeing parades on the road with people dancing to the rhythms of drums and trumpets. When I asked around, I learned that they were in fact funerals. It was weird to see such a unique reaction to death. I was wondering how could joy and grief could coexist. I had a day off, so I decided to understand what the heck is happening. I started the day at a cremation center and asked them when the earliest funeral would be. This is it. Well, it wasn't dancing and fun as I characterized in my mind, so I kept observing. But the music element is quite unique, very energetic tones. As usual, Atesh Chevresini appeared. The musicians had high spirit. I was getting my gear ready to follow them outside to the cremation center, hoping to get some dancing moves on their way. All of a sudden, this guy, dressed entirely in black, approached me. Without mimics and red eyes, he says, I destroy your camera if I see you again. I was very careful up to that point. I knew that it was a sensitive environment, so I kept keeping eye contact with people to get their consent as I approached the funeral. So <laughs> I followed them covertly with a tuk-tuk. My instructions were clear. You know the funeral people? Funeral, they are walking. We go there. Uh, but you follow flowers, flowers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Although the footage clearly exposing dancing in the funeral, I could not get clear shots due to the embargo placed on me. Check out some funeral news. Now, what is happening here? I found one of the best explanations in this article. Isabel Clarks makes a similar observation almost 20 years ago. They hissed, sore, joked. They danced groping their genitals, winking derisively at everyone. She references a concept from another book explaining the role of mockery in the Sinhalese culture. Sri Lankan demons are supposed to be frightful in the cosmic hierarchy. However, when mocked into their proper places, they lose their terrorizing effects. In a similar way, letting it all out with dancing and losing control with alcohol and ganja seems to help men release some tension. <laughs> 